an Oregon police department thought it would be a good idea to hold a hide and seek with a cop event for Halloween in which citizens ages 12 and up could run from armed officers of the law in the dark. Yes, you heard me right armed. What could possibly go wrong? The Sherwood Police Department billed the event as basically your only opportunity to run from the cops without consequences. <laughs> see, it's funny because normally you'd end up dead. The intent of the event was for people to see officers in full uniform and gear in a safe, fun environment. But in a country with a major police brutality problem, and no, that's not opinion, that is a fact, that's not really how the event landed to anyone normal, who basically all felt like it was giving more of a hunting humans for sport vibe. As one Facebook commenter put it, intriguing idea but I don't think that citizens being more afraid of being offed by police than zombies is the flex that you think it is. And of course, that fear is orders of magnitude more pronounced for black and brown people who are disproportionately targeted as racial discrimination in policing is a huge problem in the United States. And when it comes to public perception, large majorities of both black and white people agree that black people are treated less fairly by police and overall confidence in police reached an all-time low in 2023. So between all of that and of course, the staggering number of police q pewings I have really had it with this app. Of black citizens in this country? The backlash was so strong that the Sherwood Police Department ended up canceling hide and seek with a cop, though they blamed the cancellation on the media. But is it really that surprising that being chased by armed police officers was not people's idea of a good time? Perhaps in the future, the Sherwood Police Department can, you know, read the room and just stick to handing out candy to trick-or-treaters for Halloween instead.